as you probably know on November will be released the .NET 5 final version for our production but before the final release Microsoft is releasing uh, patches uh, previews version of the framework including many improvements in Blazor, ASP.NET Core in general, uh, WPF, Windows Forms and uh, other improvements related to the .NET platform. So in this video I'm going to show you how the lazy loading works uh, for Blazor. Many people asked me in previous videos or in my articles uh, if we can improve the first loading of Blazor applications because once the user downloads the application the browser downloads everything related to the app as uh, usually happens in a standard single page application now we can split the download of the LLs and other files in Blazor applications per area or model or route and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do that using the .NET 5 preview H. The first thing you need to do is to create the Blazor app. I'm using the preview version of uh, Visual Studio so Blazor app and after that you are going to choose Blazor WebAssembly under the .NET 5 version I'm using the template for .NET 5 preview H it's creating the projects at the first moment there is no difference between this template and the previous ones the files are pretty uh, the same the configuration as well but for demonstrating the lazy loading I'm going to create uh, an extra project in the solution an a standard a class library .NET standard I'm gonna call that financial and imagine in a real scenario you have a specific system for instance different departments like human resources, financial, marketing, uh, etc. So you can have a specific project per department and the lazy loading the, the files reference to each project uh, using this new feature of Blazor. I'm creating here a uh, quick class uh, called quotation in this project returning a specific number only for demonstration purpose after making the reference to the financial projects in the blazor app I'm gonna create a new component called quotation and this specific component is going to call the quotation class created under the financial project I'm gonna change here the name of the component, the title, the road called quotation let's remove the extra code here and I'm gonna specify a block here with a private prop properties in order to change the state of the components at the first moment the value will be zero and once this property uh, changes the value the component state is going to change as well and I'm going to override the method responsible for initialize the components and in this specific event I'm gonna call my quotation class that's presented in the financial project so quotation value equals quotation get quotation so once this quotation component is loaded the component is gonna uh, call the quotation class get the quotation value assign to the quotation value property the, the number 100 and show in the components if you run the application just to be sure 
it's working properly at the first moment the blazor application downloaded every single dll associated with the project with all the dependencies if we take a look in the application tab in the google chrome cache storage you can see all the dll's and the dependencies downloaded by the application the first load including the financial dll reference to the financial project so even the user didn't access uh, yet the quotation component the first load of the application already downloaded the financial dll it's not what we want so since the the dotnet 5 preview h version we can work with lazy loading concept regarding dll's so in the cs cs project file you can specify this specific tag blazor web same lazy loading and specify uh, all the dll's you don't want to to load in the first load of the application so if you run again the application at the first moment the application won't throw any error but if you try to access the quotation components that's gonna throw an exception here on warning because the blazor application didn't load the financial dll because we specified that in the cs project file so that's the first step to work with lazy loading in blazor application let let me close all the files in the app razor file you have the ro rotor components responsible for manage the security and the main configuration for roads in the application i'm going to inject here a new class a new object uh, Microsoft ASP.NET Core Components WebAssembly Services Services Lace Assembly Loader and I'm going to refer here as well the System Reflection uh, class because we we are going to specify the assembly class further in this component so we have let's remove this comma so we have the reference to system reflection and the reference to lace assembly loader with new uh, introduced in dotnet 5 so the first thing we are going to do is to create a private list of assemblies so list of assembly type i'm gonna call lazy lazy as load assemblies this list is going to store every single assembly we want to lazy loading in the application in this context it's just one dll regarding to financial projects but it could be more and we are going to create uh, a specific method which is gonna be called every time the user uh, access uh, a specific road and here I'm gonna make a, a condition regarding to the access to the quotation component so what we want to do here is if the user access the quotation component we are going to tell the application that the financial dll needs to be downloaded so i'm gonna create a list of assemblies here including and uh, including the financial dll so in the cs cs project file we don't need to specify the extension of the dll only the name uh, but 
that behavior happens only in the previous version on November it's mandatory to specify the full path of the DLL so but for a while in the previous versions we don't need to do that and after creating the assemblies list I'm gonna to add to the lazy loading assemblies private list the another list in that case we have only one item but it could be more and we could have here like many if statements or a switch case to lazy loading uh, specific components if you specify a uh, relative path with a specific pattern for each model like human resources financial marketing etc you can specify like a global uh, if statement for all the components under this uh, relative path so in the rotary components you have to specify here which methods need to be called uh, in the own navigation sync event and specify in the property additional assemblies the list of assemblies you want to lazy loading in the application if you run the application the index components will download every single DLL except the one we specified in the CS project file that don't need to download yet so as you can see here the financial DLL didn't download it if you access the quotation the quotation components the DLL is there so it's cool it's simple thank you for watching this video I'm gonna leave in the description of this video more materials regarding Blazor from the official documentation and articles I already wrote about it thank you very much see you in the next video